Hi everyone! This time I have a Shure ULX series receiver for repair. The model is ULXP4, frequency band is J1, and this thing does not power up. Here I flick the switch and nothing happens. And I checked the power supply, nothing is wrong with it. So let's take the receiver apart and have a look inside. Here we are inside, and right away I believe I see a spot on the board which looks a bit discolored right around this voltage regulator, so I wonder if something gets overheated here. So let's turn this thing on and use this thermal camera. Alright, we do have some hot spot, and this is the other voltage regulator, and it doesn't look too bad. Around uh, 42 or so degrees C, 43, 44, with uh, about 27 ambient. Not sure, maybe it is hotter than it should be, but nothing seems to be wrong here. Perhaps something has already died. I started checking around here. Let me show you what I found so far. Of course, there's no schematic, so I have to guess. I found a test point here marked 12 volts, and this is the output of this voltage regulator. Another test point is here, marked 10 volts, and this is the output of this uh, voltage regulator. These are identical chips. This chip is also a voltage regulator, LP2953, capable of 250 milliamps. And uh, what I traced so far is uh, from this input, which should be 15 volts, uh, to this diode which goes to ground. This is perhaps uh, some sort of surge protection. And uh, then it goes to this diode. And this is in line, uh, so it must be reverse polarity protection. From this point it goes to this switch. I close the switch, so the pins are shorted now. And from this point it goes to, uh, I believe, this transistor. Here it is. And uh, another side of this transistor goes to all inputs. To this voltage regulator, and this one, and also this one, which is pin 15. And uh, what I found is that this 12 volt rail is shorted to ground and also the output of this guy which is pin 3 is shorted to ground but th this 10 volt rail is not shorted and the inputs are fine well at least not shorted to ground so I'm not entirely sure what's going on here yet Perhaps I should start desoldering things. Let's say I can remove this chip and see if that removes some of the shorts. Something like that. Let's try. So, I removed the ferrite filter here, marked E1, and uh, disconnected this way the 5 volt rail from the rest of the circuit. And indeed, this side goes to the microcontroller. I'm probing on one of the capacitors right next to it. And the short is on this side. So I removed this chip, which was easy. I have uh, hot tweezers with uh, suitable tips. And as you can see, the output pin 3 is still shorted to ground. So, perhaps uh, one of the capacitors is shorted, uh, these ceramics maybe, or this electrolytic, 
and there is still a short on this 12 volt rail. Look at this. It seemed to me that the lowest resistance was across electrolytic cap that was here, so I desoldered it. And now there is no short of the 12 volt rail anymore. And here is the cap. And this is another cap like this, so I guess this one is shorted too. And there are a few more of this type on the board. Perhaps they didn't fail yet. So I removed this capacitor and now the short on the 5 volt rail is gone. Here is pin 3 and positive of the capacitor and the ferrite filter no short. And we have two shorted electrolytic caps which is unusual. Usually they fail by losing capacitance. So these are 100 microfarad 16 volt rated caps and I happen to have plenty of 25 volt rated ones. They are slightly taller which is not a problem and they have exactly the same footprint so they should work perfectly fine. So I replaced just these two capacitors for now and I soldered the chip back but I did not solder the ferrite filter yet. Let's check the rails first. So here on the cap we have 4.9 on this regulator 10 volts and on this one 12 volts. Perfect. So I soldered the ferrite filter back and look at this. And here I have a transmitter. Perfect. So I'm thinking about replacing the rest of the capacitors of the same type and checking others, but that is not very interesting, so let's stop at this point. Thank you for watching. Bye.